Hi guys, so today we are starting the first of what is going to be a marathon declutter series. I did one of these when I first started out on my channel. It took me months and months to get all the content out to you guys. But for me personally, that was over a year ago since I went through my collection. I've since then, I've been trying tons of different products, looking at lots of different things, getting reviews out there for you guys. But as a result, my collection is just feeling a little unwieldy. And here's a kind of a glimpse into my blush drawer because blush is where we're going to be starting with from a declutter perspective. And as you can see, it's just out of control. Like, there's just too much in here. I am not reaching for everything. I know I probably have duplicates of some shades, so I want to edit down this collection a little bit. If you found me from my blush to cutter last time, I know a lot of you guys did. I did want to call, we're going to do this one a little bit differently. So first time I did a declutter with my blush, I did kind of brand my brand, laid them all out. We talked about them and then I came back and did a kind of sort through by color based on what I wanted to keep. And then we looked at them a second time and eliminated a few more shades. This time, I kind of feel like I want to get to just the heart of the issue, which is shade. So for me, is it a similar shade? Am I keeping four blushes that all look exactly the same? So all that to say, I decided to divide my blush declutter into four parts. So what you are looking at here are all of my peach and coral blushes. We're going to do pink blushes in a separate declutter. We're going to do mauve blushes and we're going to do nude blushes. But for purposes of today's declutter, what I'm going to do is lay these all out by type. So what I mean by that is I'm going to put all my shimmer blushes out, all my satin blushes out, and then all my matte blushes. That way I can really look at different formulas and make sure that I've got a unique collection at this point. Okay, so here are all of my matte sort of peachy, a little bit corally type blushes. I think what I'm going to do is try and swatch these by color types. I'm just going to open the ones that I think are kind of similar to one another. In fact, let me open up these. So I've got a good look at all of these colors as well. All right, so let's start with some of these more neutrally peachy ones. So this is the Gen Nude blush from Bare Minerals. This is the shade that peach though. This formula is really nice and super creamy. It's like velvety feeling on the skin. It is gorgeous formula. I really love it and I like this color too. The one thing I would say about this formula is that it tends to be a little bit lighter on your skin than it appears in the container. So some of the colors kind of threw me for a loop. I thought they were gonna be really dark and then when I swatched them they were actually much lighter and easier to blend into the skin. I think this one here from Burt's Bees is gonna be similar. This is the shade Blush from them. I did like this formula. This was a shade I hadn't picked up until Kathleen Lights made me buy it. And I think these colors, mm, they're kind of similar. That one's definitely got a lot more orange to it. Let's look at this Jordana one. This is Jordana Sweet Honey, number 44. I think this one's going to be a little bit deeper. Yeah, and that's a little more pinky too. And then e.l.f., this is always cheeky. I just talked about this formula in my e.l.f. roundup for spring. It doesn't feel exactly like the Bare Minerals one down here, but I do think they're kind of similar-ish formulas. So let's swatch that one. I think it's gonna be way lighter. Okay, so these aren't as similar as I thought they were going to be upon first inspection. Infection. All right, I do think I'm gonna keep the Bare Minerals one. That's the first one down here. It's it's peachy, but it's got enough of a sort of corally shift to it. A little more cool leaning than this one. I think it's gonna be really flattering. So I'm gonna keep this one. This Burt's Bees one, I feel like it's gonna look better on someone that's a little less cool toned than me. I do think I'm gonna pass this guy along. This one here from Jordana, I wanna to set to the side because I wanna swatch it against some of the other things that are left. This e.l.f. one seems really unique. It's very light peachy pink. I do wanna compare it against these two here. So this is Etude House. Yeah, that's even lighter. These I picked up in Korea. This is a Korean beauty brand. It's super cute. It's got the super nice puff in it. The formula is really nice. I just don't find myself reaching for these all of the time. That one looks actually a little more pink than I thought. I do wanna keep one of these because I do really like the formula and I have fond memories of picking these up when I was traveling. I'm just trying to decide between these two. I actually think I'm gonna keep the lighter one and pass along the deeper one. So the lighter one is shade, is number 10 Peach Parfait and this one is number six Grapefruit Jelly. You can also pick these up on Amazon if you're interested and the price point on all the Etude House stuff is really reasonable. So. Gonna keep the lighter one, pass on this one. And I do think I'm going to keep 
this one here from e.l.f. I think that's a really pretty color, so let's keep that one. So now we're left with a whole bunch of what I would say sort of corally pink shades that are starting to look a little similar. So let's compare some of these other ones to it. So this is Makeup Revolution. This is the blush, the matte blush powder in Beloved. This is a lovely formula. I do think, oh, that's a lot more pink than I realized. Yeah, it looks a lot like the one I just decluttered. Definitely different than that Jordana one though. This is a Clinique Cheek Pop. This is in the shade Melon Pop. I do really like this formula quite a bit. And that is really similar to this Makeup Revolution one. Like a very, very similar. This is a blush from number seven. This is in the shade Apricot Blossom. I don't remember how I felt about this one. See, all three of those are just looking really, really similar to me. This one is actually looking quite different though, down here at the bottom. This is It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Pores in Naturally Pretty, rather. This is sort of a peachy pink color that is looking very similar to all of the rest of these. And then this is Makeup Geek Blind Date. Yeah, okay, so pretty much this Jordana one seems pretty unique, so I do think I'm gonna keep that. The rest of these are looking really, 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 really similar. This formula I'm okay with, it's not my favorite. I think I can pass this on and not miss it, so I'm gonna pass this one on from number seven. I think these two shades are very similar here, these last two. I think, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna keep the It Cosmetics one or the Makeup Geek one? You know what, at the end of the day, I think these feel and look so freaking similar. I think I'm gonna keep the Makeup Geek one. The packaging's just a little smaller and a little more compact, and when I think about travel and just easy storage in my collection, I think what I'm going to find is that the Makeup Geek one just takes up less space and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna pass along the It Cosmetics one and keep the Makeup Geek one. And now we're up down to these two. This one, I don't think they carry at Ulta anymore. And this one, I know you can get at Ulta and Sephora and Macy's. Yeah, those look really freaking similar. So same thing. Uh, for as much as I love these, if you're looking for a dupe for the Clinique ones, I love this formula from Makeup Revolution. It really is a phenomenal one. I think you're gonna have to get it off of their website now, but it is only like five bucks. Um, but I think I'm gonna keep the Clinique one. It's just smaller, it's more compact, and pass along the Makeup Revolution one. Okay, so these are ones that I would consider to be satin. You know, some of these, I may be treading a fine line between satin versus glowy, because glowy is what we're gonna talk about next, and I kind of had to guess on some of them. So, uh, but based on my remembrance and just a couple quick swatches I did behind the scenes here, I feel like these are all more satin, whereas the ones we're gonna talk about here in a minute are more shimmery blushes. So let's open all these up as well. All right, let's tackle bright corals first. So let's do these to the side and let's tackle these here. So I've got two Clinique Cheek Pops here. This is part of their permanent line. This is Ginger Pop. And then this I think is also part of their permanent line, but it's in their Jonathan Adler packaging from last summer. And this is Peach Pop. I feel like these two are actually fairly similar on the cheeks. So I'm gonna swatch these real fast. So that is Ginger Pop. And then this is Peach Pop. Yeah, if anything, Ginger Pop is just a smidge darker and Peach Pop is a little bit lighter, if you can see that. Um, all right, let's keep swatching and then we'll come back and make some decisions. This is a little baby Love Flush Blush in Love Hangover. A little more cool toned, but pretty similar to those shades. And then this is a Tarte Blush in Tipsy. Yeah, see, all these are looking really freaking similar. I don't feel like I need all of these in my life. I think I'm gonna pass on this little baby Too Faced one. It's not my favorite formula, and I'm just never reaching for this. I also think I'm gonna pass on this Tarte Blush in Tipsy. 
I don't think it is one that I am going to reach for over these Clinique ones. I think I like the Clinique formula better and it is almost identical, especially to this shade here, which is uh, Peach Pop. So I'm gonna pass this on and I don't think I'm gonna miss it. I feel like this shade in Ginger Pop is just a little bit darker and a little deeper and I'd have to be more cautious with this than I would with this Peach Pop from Jonathan Adler. So I think I'm gonna keep Peach Pop and pass along ginger pop. All right, now I have these three sort of neutrally-ish blushes. This is from Physician's Formula. This is one of their butter blushes. This is in the shade Vintage Rouge. I really love this formula and I love this texture. Um, this is another one of my favorite drugstore formulas. This is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. I really love the formula of this blush. It is so freaking creamy. Yeah, it's different. This one's a lot deeper and this one's a lot lighter. So I feel like I could justify keeping both of those. And then this is one that I found this summer. This is the Catrice Strobing Blush. This is in the shade Mrs. Summer Peach. I do kind of like that you can target your brush in different areas and kind of get a slightly different color so that's even lighter. So I feel like I've got a gradient from dark, medium to light. Um, and they're definitely a similar tone, but I definitely like all three formulas. And depending on how tan I am or how deep I want my blush, I could definitely see myself using all three of these. These three are staying. Okay, so these are all ones that I consider to be more glowy blushes, less satiny. One that I know I'm going to keep regardless of how it swatches is this Natasha Denona blush. I really love it. It is a duo. I love this one. I will swatch it for you. But I really love this blush formula. I love how glowy it is on my skin. I love that I can mix them together and get different looks. Um, this looks really pretty over top of this one, but I can also wear this one on the apples of my cheeks just to make it a little glowy. It is very fair, I will own that. But I know I wanna keep this one, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one to the side. Uh, let's open up the rest of these so we know what we're working with here. All right, I'm gonna set these pink, more pinky toned ones off to the side here. We will come back to them. And let's focus on these more, I would say, true peachy shades. So this is a little blush that I got in Korea as well. It's actually a Japanese brand. This is the Majorca, Majorca Puff de Cheek. Hopefully you guys can read that there. Majorca, Majorca Puff de Cheek. It is a Japanese brand. It has the super adorable puff that I would never use, but it is adorable in there. It's a beautiful swirly blush. I'm not reaching for this a ton. It could just be that my blush collection is out of control. Let's get this on. It is a pretty shade. Now that I see that though, I think it's probably gonna go more with these over here than these as a comparison. So. Let's move on to these. So this is a Wavy Glow from NYX. This is the shade Summer Reflection. Um, I do like blushes like this that you can target or just swirl. And I remember this one was, be was really pretty on my cheeks. It's definitely more of a true peach than something that is more um, coral. This is Luminoso from Milani. I will say, I feel like I wore this in the winter and I did not like how this looked on my skin but I wore it the other day and I got a little bit more color to my cheeks right now than I even usually do. I guess doing some stuff outside, even with sunscreen on has kind of amped up my tan. So it didn't look as bad on me as I thought it did. I feel like this is going to be a summer only blush for me though. And then this is the L'Oreal in Paradise Enchanted. This is that peach blush that was scented. This is in the shade 190 Bashful. And I actually thought this was really pretty. The peach is a very light peach, but I think it's going to be very, very similar to Luminoso. It is. Okay, so for my money, I think what I wanna do is keep Luminoso. 
and I'm gonna pass on this Peach Paradise one. This was a lovely formula, but I feel like those two colors are like way too similar to justify keeping both of those. This is the cult classic. I feel like I may wanna swatch things against it from time to time because it gets referenced all the time. And then this one here, I think I wanna keep it. It's a little more peachy. I like the fact that I can target different quadrants and get it lighter or darker. So I do think I'm gonna hang on to this one as well. All right, so that there is this little shade from Japan, that Majorica, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So let's swatch that against, well, let's just do all of these. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in Peach. This one definitely has a pinky glow to it. Then this is Becca. This is a little sample size, but this is the mineral blush in Flower Child. I never felt like I needed to buy a bigger size because I never go through blush that quickly. That is very, very similar to one another there. This is Hourglass. This is one of their ambient lighting blushes. This is Incandescent Electra. I love this shade. I love how this looks on my cheeks. Ah, and look, it's a little bit lighter. That may be why I like it, because it definitely is not as intense on my uh, cheeks when I'm coming out of winter time and want a spring blush, I always reach for this one. And then this is from Lottie London. I don't own a lot from this brand, but this is a blush crush in the shade Drake. And this one kind of surprised me at how much I really did enjoy it. I'd say that one is probably most similar to the one down here from Japan. Okay, so I know I wanna keep this hourglass blush. That's this one, it's light, it's beautiful. I love this blush, gonna hang on to it. I don't feel like I need to keep both of these. I feel like this Revlon, or this Maybelline one is a very strong dupe for Flower Child. Those are those two there. They just look so freaking similar. But I feel like the Becca one is a little less patchy, at least swatching though, that's the problem. I'm swatching blushes as opposed to putting them on my cheek. Yeah, this one just feels a lot more powdery than the Becca one. So although the shade I think is spot on to one another, I do think I'm gonna keep the Becca one. It just feels smoother and creamier and this one feels a little more powdery. I've gotten these kinds of blushes to work just fine, but I don't feel like I need to keep the same shade in both of them. So I'm gonna pass along the Fit Me and keep the Becca. And then let's swatch these two on the back of my hand again. That is really creamy and smooth, but so is that. And they're not identical. They're really, really similar though. I don't know, for sentimental reasons. I mean, I think these are pretty comparable to one another. I think I'm gonna keep the one that I got in Korea from Majorca, I'm sure I'm butchering that. And I'm gonna pass the Lottie London one along. Okay, so here are the ones that I am keeping. Here are the ones that I am decluttering. I am keeping 15 and I am decluttering 13. So I'm getting rid of 46% of my collection. Now, as far as what I am doing with this little container here, I am going to be letting friends and family kind of pick through this if there's anything that they want since these are all used. And then anything that they don't want, I'm going to sanitize and ship to Project Beauty Share. If you're not familiar with Project Beauty Share, I learned about them from that Taylor. They are a organization, they're based out in Washington, but they uh, service a whole bunch of women in shelters. They take gently used and new makeup and help beauty and kind of health products, and they get them to women in need. So I love that organization. I love that they're a group that recognizes that a blush can easily be sanitized, and especially if it's barely been used, given to a woman, and you know it can make a big difference in her life as far as how she feels about herself. So I always get questions in old declutter videos about what I'm doing with products and can you give them to me or can I buy them from you? That's just not something that I personally wanna do. So like I said, friends and family first and then Project Beauty Share second. And if you're interested in Project Beauty Share, I will always, for all my declutters, link their information down below so that you guys have access to them. All right guys, so that is it for today's declutter. We're gonna be moving on to the other colors of blush next. Look forward to seeing you in those videos, bye.